Blue Bell Petunia absolutely raring to go. Wally looking for a place to go to sleep. DC definitely raring to go. That's the two. Heat number one. Here come the Bassets bouncing and the ears are flopping, the jello's jiggling, the eggs are getting cool, and it is Georgie dominating so much. Georgie knocked over Janelle Sawatsky, the owner. What an impressive performance by Georgie. Holy cow. Straight and strong might be a track record for Basset Hounds on the turf. Winston was chugging along in second for a second. But Georgie's performance was so breathtaking, we all stopped looking at second. Look at Georgie, just straight and strong, the bookenders, holy cow. What you gonna do, number two? Oh, yeah. Following races five and seven. Owners in their spots. Go! Here come the Basset Hounds, and on the outside, Rufus came out very nicely, and so did Gertie, but Rufus has been usurped, and Jelly Bean, so sweet, got it by a snout. In the early stages, they weren't booing, they were rooing for Rufus, but then they were booing as Jelly Bean came surging by Gertie, Fired nicely, but here comes Jelly Bean with a late stride, wanting the prize desperately. Second is Rufus. Rufus and Jelly Bean will see y'all on Labor Day to win those bountiful prizes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for all of the owners bringing these Basset Hounds out, making this Sunday fun. Thank you very much. And thank you for coming out to Canterbury Park. We greatly appreciate it. Race number four. 22 minutes from now. So oh, here they come in heat number three, and out of the gate quickly is Fudge, who definitely packs a punch. Cooper finishes beautifully, then it's Hattie, Shelby, Wally, Archie, and Rocket Roo. Go! Here comes Dolly giving her absolute best. Oh, she's in last. Meanwhile, the others go on. Psycho Suki just whooped them. Lily ran second. Psycho Suki. Butter laying on the turf. Go! Here they come in a high five, heat five. Oh, Butter was laying on the turf, but you talk about Butter being smooth. Holy cow. Butter annihilated them. Second. Oh! Lucy had second, but was usurped by Opie right at the end. Butter was laying on the turf, doing nothing, and then the word go was said, and Butter just set a Canterbury record for the fastest Basset Hound time on the turf in the history of this racetrack, Butter. Look at the four. Second, right? See you Labor Day. Nope. Opie with style points for second, leaping over the flags. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, a nice warm round of applause for these owners for bringing the Basset Hounds out to Canterbury, giving these kids some fun as Butter strides so smoothly into Labor Day. And here's number four, Lucy for second, right? Right? Where are you, Lucy? Come on, Lucy. Oh, no. And the leap by Opie. What a talented hound. 25 minutes to race eight. Good luck. 